Hi Pisces, this is your May 6th through May 12th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love entry in your life this week. Uh, the second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Uh, in the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. Then we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have uh, uh, the Hangman, clarified by the Two of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Seven of Cups with Death <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, we, have, we also have Water, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or not a Pisces. Um... Here's what I'm going to tell you, Pisces, and what I'm going to, what I'm about to tell you, I don't mean to judge you, I don't mean to criticize you, but um, perhaps in order for the two of you to move forward together, um, your perception needs to change. And what I mean by that, perhaps you've uh, fantasized how um, a relationship is supposed to be, or what kind of person you would only get involved with. Perhaps that needs to change. Okay? <laughs> Perhaps you built this uh, illusion in your head, or you built this uh, castle in the sky. If you don't know what it is, look it up. If you built this castle in the sky, about you imagined something. You have this dream. You have, but it's an illusion. You know. Perhaps you need to sort of adjust your perception of how relationships are supposed to be formed, or what kind of person. Uh, you could be uh, moving forward with. Again, I don't mean to judge you, I'm just trying to help you <laughs> to live a better life, hence the name of the channel, because you do have this King of Swords coming in, right? The first card I came out. This is a person coming in, coming into your life. For some of you, it could be somebody who is already in your life. But uh, what we have in the potential outcome, the Seven of Cups, Death, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the way I see those three cards, it's like the Seven of Cups could be a card of um, somebody's judgment being clouded, or somebody has this illusion, or somebody who imagined, imagined something to to themselves, right? And that is a card of a transformation. It's a, it's a transformation of that uh, Seven of Cups. And then the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck will play out, right? So the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. It's a major arcana card. <clears throat> and uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a rock-solid commitment of marriage, right? Uh, this is when people have money in the bank. This is when people have a home together, have a family together, and all that good stuff. But first, that Seven of Cups needs to change. Your perception, the way you see things, the way you imagined it, the, the, the castle in the sky needs to change. <laughs> Alright? I, I hope I'm not... Uh, um, I hope this is something that's going to be understood by you. Right? So you do have this King of Swords, the first guy that came out. Right? It could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of uh, air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, they could be somebody who is very logical, somebody who is very smart, intelligent, somebody who is like a lawyer or a doctor, somebody who wears uniform for work. You could be that type of a person. However, they're qualified by the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign indicator, right? A Cancer, Scorpio, or not a Pisces. But this is the most loving, the most romantic knight out of all for knights. So they do love you. They do want to take care of you. They want to do things for you. They want to do all... They're very, they could be very romantic with a Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, yeah, they feel love towards you. That's what the Knight of Cups is. The Three of Pentacles right next to the King of Swords. Perhaps this is how you know or will know this person starting this week. And uh, the Three of Pentacles could be interpreted so many different ways, right? It's a kind of collaboration, cooperation, or simply a group of people getting together and doing something together. For some of you, it could be somebody you work with, somebody who works in the same building, somebody who does business with you, somebody who is in the same gym with you, maybe it's just a circle of friends, circle of acquaintance, somebody who is in your book club, what have you. <laughs> you get the idea, right? In the middle we have the Hangman, clarified by the Two of Cups. The Hangman is actually one of your major arcana cards, Pisces, so that's you, but at the same time, the Hangman could be a realization. 
All right, you see how there is an orb around the person's head, the person hanging up, upside down, it, there is an orb around the head, and it could be like a realization, an epiphany. Oh my God, this person actually checks boxes, right? Checks some of the boxes. Or, oh my God, this person could actually be somebody I could be spending the rest of my life with. Okay, the Two of Cups clarifying it, there's two people in the Two of Cups, I assume that's you and this King of Swords. And it's a soulmate card, it's a card of um, unconditional love, it's a card of when two people uh, are on the same page. Okay, yeah, a very specific, very unique reading. So, like I said in the beginning, I don't mean to, you know... <laughs> I don't mean to tell you what to do, but perhaps look at this, when this person shows up in your life, or maybe this is somebody who is already, look at it from a different perspective, from a different angle. Maybe this person is not so bad. <laughs> maybe this, you can make it happen with this person and have a future with them. All right? Really happy for you, Pisces. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, Pisces, this spread is for you. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Moon. We have Strength, we have the Queen of Cups clarified by the Fool, and uh, we, have, we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with a Leo, Aries, maybe even another Pisces. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, I assume you're the Queen of Cups here, um, alright? Uh, the Queen of Cups right next to the deck clarified by the Fool. Okay, the Fool is a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, doing some things that you haven't done in the past, right? And uh, we start with the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Moon. The Seven of Pentacles is a card awaiting the Moon. Clarifying it is your major arcana card, Pisces. Alright, so perhaps this is you waiting for someone, or somebody is waiting for you. Okay? <laughs> if you're dealing with another Pisces, um, maybe it's them waiting for you. Right? The, the Strength card in the middle is a card of Courage. Alright, so perhaps somebody is waiting for you to take that leap of faith, to try this new thing, to have courage to do this. <laughs> Alright, um, you could be dealing with a Leo. Strength is a Leo major kind of card. And uh, we do have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Alright, so whatever it is that's getting ready to take place is a golden opportunity for you, for your person, for the whole family, if you're already married, if you have children. I don't know what this... Uh, fool is. It could be absolutely anything. Maybe they want you to try um, rock climbing, take a rock climbing class, right? But you're a little bit uh, cautious about it. Maybe they want you to try something else, something you haven't tried before. Or it could be the other way around. And it somehow will turn out to be a golden opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces. Uh, this way, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have uh, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Swords. We have the Lovers, clarified by Judgment. Um, we have uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by Justice. And we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, or any Zodiac sign. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be good news or, or not so good news, but somebody here, it's like they rethought their life, or they rethought what they did or didn't do while the two of you were still together, or they rethought, uh, if they were the one who broke up with you, they, they rethought that. And it's like this person is going to start making better life choices, <laughs> right? They're coming back with a major apology, major apology, wanting to get serious with you. For some of you, Pisces, it could be the other way around, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I do see somebody rethinking <laughs> what happened, or even their whole life, right? With the Four of Swords clarified by the Ten of Swords, that's what I think is happening here. The Four of Swords is somebody taking a little bit of break, maybe not so little, Right, the Ten of Swords, uh, clarifying that, uh, that's what they think about while they're taking that break. Maybe they thought about it quite a few times. Right, so here they come with the Lovers and uh, Judgment clarifying it and a Page of Cups clarified by Justice. The Lovers could be a Gemini, you know, but the Lovers is a card of a choice. <laughs> Alright, so I think this person is going to start making right choices. Uh, the Lovers is also... Um, the love of your life card. Perhaps this person realizing they can't live without you. 
right? Uh, it is a soulmate card, it is a twin flame connection card, and uh, the lovers could be the love of your life card. It's classified by judgment. Judgment is a card of having to make a judgment call, the correct judgment call, and it's also a card of somebody coming back from the past. <laughs> Both the Page of Cups and Justice could be interpreted as apologies, right? I often interpret justice as a major, major apology, and the uh, Page of Cups is just an apology. Right, so it's two apologies, card one clarifying another. Justice, yeah, it's a card of making things right. It could also be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel, okay? And uh, uh, perhaps it's like a boomerang, because justice could be karma, something could have, something came back and bit them in the butt, right? Uh, but we do have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, could be a Taurus you're dealing with, we're right in the middle of a Taurus birthday season right now, and uh, the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, right? So I think that's what they're ready for. It's up to you whether you want to give this person another chance or not, all right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces. This week we have uh, the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, maybe a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. So, um, here's the deal. You may have somebody who is eager to get something off the ground. Somebody may have an inspiration or an epiphany or a bright idea, and by someone I mean somebody else or you, <laughs> Pisces. All right, if so, if you have an inspiration or bright idea, if you are going to get all excited about something, go for it. Go for it. And perhaps you will need to involve at least one more person to invest into you or to give you an advice or to help you understand how to get the how to make this happen okay the page of cups on the bottom of the deck it could be somebody approaching you with an idea or it could be you maybe wanting to pick someone's brain to make sure you're doing everything correctly all right but yeah the knight of ones and the six of ones this is what I was just talking about somebody getting all excited all, all fired up all passionate about some kind of a new beginning Right, and again, it could be you or another person. The Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Wands, yeah, it definitely, there's definitely a, a monetization of this idea <laughs> that's coming up. It's possible to monetize this with, with the Ace of Pentacles. It may not be most important to you now, but in the future you can make some money off of it, right? And uh, that's exactly what the Six of Pentacles right next to the deck is also about. It's a card of money coming in. It's a card of generosity. It could also be a card of a choice. So maybe you will have a couple of ways to make it happen, to implement this, to get it started, and you will have to choose the best way to do it. But uh, the Six of Pentacles, as the last card, it's a good sign. It's a good sign They have this card at the end of a reading. Like I said, it's money coming in. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week. Pisces. We have Justice, Judgment, uh, the Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You know, this looks almost exactly like the uh, Love from the Past spread, right? We have uh, so many repeating cards, and this is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads, so yeah, it's a repeat of, the, of what we're talking about. Must be very important. And uh, you do have a major apology coming your way with the Justice and the Page of Cups, right? Two apologies. Judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past. It's also part of having to make a judgment call. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, it's a restart of a cycle, right? The Wheel of Fortune is, could be a something new, but it could also be like a repeat card, but in this case it's going to be on new terms after that person rethought <laughs> everything that happened in the past, right? Again, it's going to be up to you how you want to handle this, but do expect a major apology, and I think it's going to be like a very important serious conversation it's a conversation that's going to go deep deep down the rabbit hole okay Pisces <laughs> so that's what I have for you for this reading for this week if this video resonates with you please like it please also comment and subscribe and uh, other than that Pisces have an amazing week